Welcome back to another video slash vlog. Basically today, I'm gonna be uh, pulling out a dent. This is my 1999 GMC Sierra SLE, as you can tell right there, SLE. I mean, this truck's awesome. I just cleaned it, so. As you can see, it's got a dent right, right here on the side of the rear fender. And it's not my fault. I had this parked at school and some kids got in a fight in the parking lot. Unfortunately, my truck was parked right there. So one kid shoved the other kid into it, some big boys getting tossed around and dented my truck. It's been there for a few years. Um, so now I've tried the suction cup and pulling it, obviously. It works, but it doesn't stay out. Like it goes pop and then it just goes away. Really frustrating. And annoying and I've also tried in the winter when it's like cold outside you put boiling water on it well, all the tricks okay I've tried all the tricks but basically can't can't pull it out so today I'm gonna be trying to remove this rear headlight and trying to pop that out there now if you're trying to do this at home I don't know what what car or truck you have but with mine, these are obviously aftermarket tail lights. They're black, they're super sick. But basically, it's got two screws. One and two. And the tail light comes off. So I'm gonna go get a screwdriver and take it off. And I can hopefully get my hand in there and push it out. Or wedge something in there. Now I could use a power drill, but I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna use a power drill because uh, I don't want to risk stripping it out or anything. Plus, I'm not lazy. I can just unscrew these two two screws by hand. Okay, screws are out. Let's see how easy this tail light comes off. Very easily. Oh man, I don't think that's gonna work. Shoot. I don't know what I expected, but I expected it to just go all the way through, but uh, I wasn't expecting there to be this giant metal piece in the way. I thought I could just reach my hand in there, but, but alas, I was, I was a fool. Well, shoot. I guess I'll put this tail light back on. Not too tight now, you don't want to strip it out. Okay. Now obviously, I didn't say this earlier, but, let's see if it, I didn't say this earlier, but I, I mean, you know those dent pullers, like you screw in and pull out, it's like a plunger or whatever. I don't want to do that. I do not want to screw into my body at all. And I can't get to it from under the truck either. I got that thing in the way. So this section is covered from every angle. <sighs> and I don't know how to get to it. With my very little mechanic experience. Well, shoot, that's a bummer. I was hoping I'd just be able to get in there and get something, push it out. If it doesn't stay, maybe wedge something in there. You guys see that little sleepy kitty? So cute. Love kitties. <laughs> 